Please. Um, hope you're all okay. I just thought I would do a quick demo on here of how to use soap calc. Um, I know I touched on it in the workshops. If you've attended a workshop, I also know it's one of those pieces of um, software that does look a little bit intimidating. So um, it is really simple, and hopefully I'm um, I have explained it to you fairly well already. But just in case you're wondering. I touch on it again. So uh, here we go. So I've popped soap calc in on my browser. Um, I'm selecting NaOH, which is sodium hydroxide, which is what we use for cold and hot process soap making. Uh, we always work in grams in the UK. And I'm just going to use the 900 gram batch recipe that we use when we're doing the, the workshops. Um, and water's percentage of oils, although it defaults to 38 percent, I always like to work on 33 percent for beginner classes. It's quite a nice level to work at um, and super fat of 5 percent. So that means we'll have 5 percent of excess butters and oils in our soap once we've um, made it, which is great because that's really good for the skin. Um, and I'm just going to demo with the recipe that we use on our, our learning workshop. The cocoa butter for that and I'm doing this from memory so bear with me is 135 grams then we use 76 degree coconut oil just click that pop that in there we use 315 grams of that and then going down to olive oil just the standard olive oil that we buy in the shops that was 450 grams those three together will give us our 900 grams. Um, then we go to calculate recipe, view or print recipe, and then you will get your final figures on a separate screen. Um, and this will give us your water, which is 297 grams, lye of 130 grams, and oils of 900 grams. So this is really easy to use. So if you do see a recipe on the internet or some in a book, for example, as I said to you, you do need to just make sure you check it through with a lie calculator. Um, so just pop your ingredients in here. You just need to make sure you change these to, to the ones that you're using and um, calculate your recipe and then make sure these figures here, the water and the lie, are the same as it's telling you in the book. And then you will know that you have got a safe loaf of soap. So hopefully that's helpful. If you've got any questions at all, then just give me a shout.